Hey everyone, Hedgedog here. Some big news out of India today making headlines with ISRO, that's India's Space Research Organization, India's NASA equivalent, announcing that they've successfully destroyed a satellite in orbit using an ASAT, or anti-satellite missile. This is some pretty serious business, and it came out of nowhere, seeing as India chose to keep the experiment close to the chest and only disclose the results after it was done, giving no warning whatsoever. I'll make another video regarding the technology required to shoot down a satellite, though you can also click here to check out a video I made showing how a jet can shoot down a satellite. But for now, I just wanted to make a very quick video to answer the most pressing question everyone seems to have. Is the International Space Station at risk? Well, let's crunch the numbers. The satellite was orbiting a pretty low 300 kilometers altitude at a 96.C degree inclination, and this is comparable to the ISS's 408 kilometer 51.6 degree inclination. And those are completely different orbital planes and altitudes. But what happens when the satellite explodes? Well, it breaks up into thousands of tiny shards, each one with their own uncontrolled orbit. Given the force of the explosion, it's likely that some shards will be pushed into higher energy orbits, making it possible for them to reach ISS altitudes, at least for a few days, maybe weeks, before their orbits decay. Now, during this time, it's possible that some of these fragments will put the ISS at risk. In this simulation, I've created 128 such shards, and you can clearly see it's entirely possible for some of them to approach dangerously close to the station. Now, the odds of a shard actually hitting the station are tiny, seeing just how big space is. So it's not likely, but it's definitely possible. So let's hope NASA is able to properly track the cloud of debris and perform whatever safety procedures they can to ensure the crew's safety. All right, that's it. Just wanted to give you a quick status update on the risks facing the ISS right now. Shout out to Jonathan McDowell, who's absolutely right to be freaked out. Let me know what you think of this experiment, and I'll catch you in the next one.